Hey, how's it going everyone? It is Drago. We're back with another chapter of Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest, chapter 162, Reunion. And the cover page for this chapter has Jet and Racer literally racing on a cover, and I'm actually very curious as to who would win this race because their like speed magics are not exactly the same and uh, they do have very different properties from one another. So I'm actually curious as to who would win this race. So we pick up the chapter with Natsu punching Ignea in the face and he asks Ignea, are you really Igneal's kid? Since Natsu really can't fathom that, you know, Igneal, someone that loved humans uh, and Ignea being someone that is really hating humans like this could possibly be his son with Ignea just straight up replying that uh, you know his dad was his dad and that uh, he is himself and kind of interesting the attack that pushes back Natsu he questions what those flames are I don't know exactly what it's doing to him like is it burning him is it doing some weird effect on Natsu like he doesn't really elaborate on that Ignea straight up saying to Natsu that all the humans in this room are prepared to go to the Dragon World, with Ignea preparing the true Dragon King Festival, which I like uh, his menacing pose and it has all the dragon silhouettes behind him. I think that's a pretty cool image. But as they're having this conversation, it just gets interrupted with a beam coming down through the ceiling. With this beam starting to talk to everyone with it saying a festival of humans and dragons that's not quite right before you get anything revealed as to who's saying this or who's in the beam you cut back over to urza fighting wed which he must have also been explaining the dragon king festival to her because you know he says once it starts i won't be able to sell things with you so he really wants this fight between him and urza which misfortune is not liking that Wed is saying all this like don't tell her we, we can't tell her the plan <laughs> which is where they also notice the giant black beam in the sky and you know it draws their attention and misfortune just straight up spoils that that's where the fire god's castle is and you know location revealed i guess which is Wed and misfortune just straight up leave and as they're leaving you get gray lucy wendy and carla appearing behind Urza which I love is they're like leaving happy notices misfortune and like immediately falls in love that it's another cat uh but a fire cat not exactly how that relationship is gonna work happy but uh you know happy logic he thinks he has a chance and I love that he immediately goes up to misfortune and offers uh a fish and like it tries to greet her and like get in her good graces I guess. I also additionally love that Carla is behind Happy this whole time and actually seems kind of mad slash disappointed at the same time. And honestly Happy and Misfortune seem to be pals already. And kind of an interesting note that uh, Lucy points out that you know Misfortune is the opposite of Happy. Honestly they seem to be really good friends already with misfortune saying maybe it's fate that we met happy and with that uh, wed and uh misfortune just leave with the rest of the team just deciding to go investigate the giant glowy light in the sky leading to the fire god's castle with it being clarified that that black beam in the sky is actually black magic which is where we cut back to natsu and ignia and that beam is still there without a reveal of who it is and whoever's in this beam obviously knows about previous battles that has happened because she references the battle against Acnologia and Zerif. So whoever this is calls out to Ignea saying, you know, you're missing one thing, Fire God. You're missing something from the Dragon King Festival. You're going to need a black wizard. And it gets revealed as to who is in this black magic and it turns out it is the black wizard ferris which i was honestly not really expecting this honestly i kind of thought it was going to be zarif again for some reason in the final page of this chapter it has natsu honestly looking kind of confused like ferris like we saw the white mage version of you and like what is going on here and Ignea points out that she feels like Acnologia. And with that, it is the end of our chapter, so my thoughts. 
Besides introducing this new version of Ferris, honestly not too much happened in this chapter. Not really any fights progressed uh, and one fight just straight up got disbanded with Urza versus Wed. Honestly, I'm feeling like this Ferris is not the same Ferris we knew because obviously we have alternate versions of people like Edelis. You know, we have two versions of Lucy, the Earthland version and the Edelis version. This could very well be a situation of that because Ferris isn't originally from Earthland. So this could be the Earthland version of Ferris, hence why she's kind of an opposite of Ferris because if Ferris was the white mage, now she is the black wizard, you know? And obviously you do have alternate versions of people being evil, kind of example like Makarov or Urza, uh, to where their Edelus versions were not exactly the nicest. Kind of curious as to Ferris's ties to Acnologia. I mean, if she's doing black magic, it wouldn't shock me if she could interact with Acnologia in some way, because Zeref's power was kind of crazy and honestly who knows what the full extent of it is and obviously i'm not saying this is like Zeref, but like it's the same magic type what are you guys' thoughts about this chapter leave in the comments below um eden zero just ended and i'm going to be recording a video for that right after this one um that's probably not going to post the same day as this it'll be delayed a little bit but i'm going to be making a video of my thoughts about it um so look forward to that and i got a few other videos i'm making at the same time but like of course all these chapters have to drop all at once so thank you for watching and this is drake signing out